Hi, this is John Doe, aka Frags with the TNB Academy, and welcome to another sound recreation video. And for this one, I got this awesome collab between Annex and a little sound, and the tune is called Overload. Uh, we're gonna be focusing on the main bassy stab because it's kind of a, a lead, but at the end, um, it kind of sounds like a bass step, all right? So let's hear it first, and then I'm gonna show you what I did with it, all right? So you know, you know which lead I'm talking about. So let's turn down the volume a bit of the original and let's hear what we did with it. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Let's dive right into Serum to go over all the details. As I mentioned before, this sound kind of, it's not a bass shot, but it's not really a synth. So the reason why I say this is because it really feels like one of those FM-ish kind of bass sounds. Uh, so that's kind of the approach I took on this one, all right? Just to add some context to this. So let's start off by loading our first wavetable on our oscillator A, which is going to be a sine wave, you know, it's been the foundation for so many of these sounds, so why complicate this part, you know? As you could have seen from most of these videos, it's like loads of sine waves, okay? So first we're going to add this one and you're going to turn it up one octave, all right? All right, so it's pretty much it, you know? It's just a sine wave, <laughs> we're not doing much with it at this point. And now we're going to add our second uh, oscillator. And for this one, I'm gonna go into the digitals and choose Ethos. It's a really cool wavetable. And then, if you look at it, I'm gonna add this more of like harmonic rich bar, all right? I'm gonna give this two voices, decrease the ditching a bit. Awesome. Okay, and now we're gonna turn down two octaves, okay? And for this sound to start to make a bit more sense, we're gonna FM the first oscillator into oscillator B, right? So it's already getting there. That kind of sound that we're looking for, right? And just to bring up a bit more texture here, we're gonna just bend plus and bend this sound a bit. This oscillator, I mean, something around here, like halfway through, should work, all right. And now we need to shape it, all right, not just with the filter, but also just with some volume modulation, okay. So we're gonna select first envelope here, LFO, put it on envelope mode, and assign these one to these two oscillators first. So we can start shaping it up a bit without any filtering going on, all right? So as we can hear from the original, there's quite a bit of an attack going on. So it should be something like this. Maybe a bit longer. So it's just a matter of you to try this out. That's why I don't like to give like exact values on these tutorials, because I feel like it's it should be up to you not to copy this, these and just like go for it, you know? Pretty much something like this. Now with the filter, it's gonna start to make a bit more sense, you know. So let's assign to filter to both of our oscillators and then send our LFO there, all right? Cool, so we're now filtering out most of these unnecessary harmonics on our sound, all right? Like getting there. Fetted this up a bit as well. Okay, we could go over some tweaks here just to match the tonality of the original, but for now, I think we're good within Serum. Let's flip the screen and go over the effects tab of Serum. First things first, some distortion, you know the drill. Let's get some tube distortion going in, but also we want to make the classic LFO assignment to the distortion, so you see. We're starting to get the vibes from the original, this FM-ish kind of sound. Now we're starting to come up. Perfect. 
perfect. Now some chorus. Uh, we're gonna go like super subtle with it on the high pass filter mode. See, it's just like super subtle. A little bit of compression so we can get rid of these lows and compress and also bring forward our mids and highs. Also give a bit of a of release on our main envelope. It just doesn't, yeah, just a bit better. Not that it does much, okay? Now let's add a bit of reverb as well. The low cut, smaller decay in size. You might want to add a high cut down to the bottom here. Once again, you can always like switch the order and put the reverb before the multiband compressor, which will always uh, get like more of an extreme effect. Because then we're just like OTTing the reverb tail as well. I like it in some cases, in some others I don't, but like I feel like works cool here, I'm not gonna lie. We decrease the decay a bit. Yeah, something like this. Super subtle. All right, so this is pretty much it within Serum. Let's give this some final touches here and there on the DAW so we can get it a bit closer to the original, all right? So first I'm gonna EQ this. You know, it's pretty much mandatory. We can get rid of some of these lower harmonics. Not like 100%, but, you know, brighten up these ones here. All right, cool. And for this one, I'm also gonna use this really cool plugin by Baby Audi called Super VHS, which is sort of like a retro reverb kind of texture thing, you know? You'll see what I mean with it. But it's just honestly, when, when we're using these types of sounds that rely a lot on FM and and, and lo loads of harmonics, like this works, right? So let me show you what I can we can add with this. If we increase the heat, the wash, and a little bit of the drift. See that little detuning going in? Warmth it gives with the eat the hit here. You can add static noise to, to your sound. Which is not that that good for this one. And also shape it. It's like different shapes, you see. It's not like this is it pretty much, alright? I'm gonna wrap this up with some OTT from Ableton. So we're gonna do just bring down the tops a bit, crank up the, 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 the mids, and that's not much more we can do with it, with the lows. Okay, we can actually put the OTT before the, the Super VHS. Now go back to our serum, just decrease the reverb here. The OTT just bring it up too loud. Now we're starting to get there. Let's take all the lows, we don't want them. Just balancing things out. So yeah, I think we're there guys. Let's make sure that the sound is close to our original one. So yeah, let's do it right now. Go for it. Increase the volume of the original. So yeah, it's pretty close in my opinion. Uh, I would just probably adjust the, the reverb tail a little bit to match the original, but at the end of the day, we're using these techniques to help us create our own sound. All right, 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.